Hi, this is Allison with Saratech. Today we're going to be talking about positioning components in an assembly where the component has been modeled in the wrong coordinate system. So sometimes you want to model your components so that you can bring all of your components into the assembly in the absolute coordinate system and they all come in in the correct position without any need for constraints or using the move component tool. So for this example, I'm going to go ahead and add a component to this assembly. In this case, I'm going to select the this curve link here. And notice I have the location set to absolute for the anchor and absolute in the displayed part for the assembly location. I'm going to click OK and then go ahead and fit the view. And you can see my component came in in the wrong place. I want it to be here with the rest of my assembly components, not off floating in space. So I'm going to use assembly constraints to position it in the correct position and then move the geometry to the correct coordinate system. So first I'll get it in the right position and you can use assembly constraints or the move component tool, uh, whichever fits your use case. So now I have this component in the correct position, but I don't want the assembly constraints that I just created to interfere when I try to move the geometry to the correct coordinate system. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those three constraints that I just created to place this. Now I'm going to open the component as the displayed part. And I'm going to make sure that in both the displayed part, this component here, as well as the assembly, I have our work coordinate system set to the absolute coordinate system. So now that I have that figured out, I need to get the absolute coordinate system of the assembly into the component part. To do that, I'll make the component part the work part. Again, in the same uh, drop down as the set work coordinate system to absolute, I'm going to choose save work coordinate system. And now this saves my current work coordinate system, which is the absolute coordinate system of the assembly, into my component part. Now when I go over to my component part, I can see I have the coordinate system here. I'm going to press Control T to bring up the move object dialog, and I'm going to use that to move all of my geometry to the new coordinate system. So first I'm going to select all my geometry, then I'm going to set the motion to coordinate system to coordinate system. And my from coordinate system is going to be the one that we saved from the assembly. My two coordinate system is going to be the absolute coordinate system of this component part. I'll click OK, and you can see that the geometry has moved down here. Now if I go back to the assembly, I'll fit the view, and you can see the component has moved again. I'll go ahead and make the assembly my work part. I'll remove the component that I added earlier then add the same component back in. And you'll notice I still have the absolute set for both component anchor and assembly location. And this time, it comes in in the correct position. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.